In this tutorial, we'll look at the real-time phrase sequencer, the RPS, perhaps the most complex and interesting feature of ADD. You enter the phrase sequencer by clicking the RPS button at the top of the interface. On the RPS screen, there are two main pages, the editor, which reveals a classic grid editor, similar to the key editor, piano roll, or matrix editor in various host sequencers. The other page is the global, which shows all the parameters of the selected clip set. Let's have a look at the various parameters. The voice section allows you to choose from three different modes, poly, legato, and split. I'll open a patch as an example, bamboos. This is what it sounds like. If the mode is set to poly, every key that's pressed, a note event, plays the pattern on an independent clip voice, which sounds like this. In the legato mode, each note event transposes the pattern, or switches to another clip depending on how the key range is set, which gives an effect like this. The split mode is a mix of the poly and legato modes. Within a clip range, legato mode is used, but each clip is treated independently. If the ranges overlap, the one with the highest clip number is used. With the key track, you can turn transposing on and off and create effects like this. The through, if set to on, sends notes events directly and means add is operating like a conventional sampler. If the through is set to off, only the clip notes are sent to the sampler. In the tempo section, you can choose to sync add to the host tempo. If sync is set to on, the clip tempo is hooked to the host. If the sync is set to off, the clip plays according to the BPM set in the box below. The offset parameters allow you to change the global settings for the clip without manual editing. These are Note, which transposes all the notes in the clip. The velocity changes the velocity of all the notes. Length alters the duration of all the notes. And the delay applies delay to the whole clip. In the velocity section, you can set the playback velocity in relation to the trigger velocity. This allows you to play clips at different values controlled by the velocity with which you play the note. This creates a more realistic and live playback sound. By default, the sensitivity is set to off. I'll make an example. Open a patch, Electro 1. Now change the velocity sensitivity, which can be set from 0 to 200, and set the threshold. Trigger velocities below this value will play back quieter, while velocities above will play back louder. The swing is an important section. With different quantizers, you can greatly alter the overall feel of the pattern. Add swing algorithm is an extension of the well-known swing or shuffle. It provides many quantized intervals and additional parameters. The quantize controls which notes are affected. Set to off for no swing, or from a 32nd to a half. We'll put it on a 16th. This is what the patch sounds like with no effect. Increasing the delay on the affected notes sounds like this. The velocity changes the velocity of the affected notes. The length changes the duration of the affected notes.
tolerance is used when importing a MIDI pattern that is unquantized, such as some rex files. It makes add more tolerant in accepting and applying swing to notes not on the beat. The humanization operates like the swing, except it affects all the notes in the pattern. Both the swing and the humanization help greatly in making the clip sound more live and natural. I'll make an example. Open a patch, Electro 1. The velocity changes the velocities of the affected notes. Increasing the delay gives us this effect. Thank you.